Right, I'm going to show you how to paint sheep. Oh, and I'm going to put a little chap in there and all. In fact, let me put my little chap in first. Put my little chap in first. So I'm having that gate here. That can be my little focal point there. So I'd say it's a bit, a bit taller than gate. Probably about like that. So look a bit skinny at that. That's his. That's going to be his. Uh, I'd say about there, like that. That's going to be his. Um, Jacket, his kugel, his bright. I'm gonna give him a bright red kugel, I think, make him stand out. Bright red raincoat. Right, um, now, need some sheep now. Alright, so let me think. Let's have a couple here. So I'll have one here. So I've got to think now. Size of this bush here. How big are these sheep gonna be? Now, I don't think they're gonna be that big. Now, one there. And one there, just next to each other, and then I'm going to do the same this side. I'm going to have another two here next to. Or shall I just put one there? Tell you what, let's put one there so it's not repeating. So I'll have one there. Um, right then, I'll have one here. I'll have this one. I'm going to have his head down facing that way. So I'm only putting half a sheep in because I'm just putting the highlight in at the minute. This will go quite faint. So I'll probably have to put this in twice. So there's one there. Let's say another one there. That can be his backside there. Slightly close to this one. So maybe it's slightly bigger. That can be his backside there. And that can be his front end there. Does that need to be a bit bigger? I'm thinking how big my bloke is compared to a sheep and these are a bit closer you see. So that's that. Then what else have I got? I think let's do one more. I'll have it. Um, where shall I have him? Let's have him here. Uh, this one I'll have about that shape, slightly bigger that one, slightly bigger, there. Right, I'm going to have to dry these now, and then I'll probably have to go over again with highlight. <clears throat> Let's just dry them for now. <laughs> Touch it, it looks. Oh no, that's dry, that's sand. Sounds bad. Right, my sip of coffee. Mm. Right, I'm going to mix up now uh, blue and red. Just mixing some up now. That'll give me a purple. Let's have a look at that one. And then I'll put in a little bit of bon tumba and a little bit of Payne's Grey in it. Just to really muck it up. That looks nice. Just um, anything what's in. It don't matter what blue or what red you use. Just whatever you used in that sky. If you painted this with me a few days ago. Whatever you used in that sky. Do that. Or if you're putting sheep in a totally different painting. Just match it with what's in your painting. So you want purple colour similar to this but darker than that but made with I'm using the same colours what I've used for this right so let's get dabbled in right so I may as well start I'll start this side and get me reading glasses on right so get some uh, I'll see his body there that one 
there, that one there. I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah, they were straight on. I was imagining them straight on. That one's there. So is he'd. It's going to be that way. That one's there. All of that. Some strong colour. I need the That one's there. Coming down like that. Something like that. So if I just pop that. There. That one there is a bit dark. Right. Some of this white's re wetting and coming into it, taking it a paler grey, but um, giving me quite a nice colour. So I'm quite happy at that. I think I'll go in on them bottom bits there. So you just coming in. There, that's nice. Right, let's just swish that brush out with some white because it's picked up some of that white. I want it to stay pretty dark. In fact, I'm, I've added a bit more red in this time to get it slightly darker. And I'm just going to pull across now some shadows for all of these. That same light's coming in that way. That's it. Actually, it's a good idea to start with that one and then go into these because then these shadows on these ones get a bit paler. Right, I'll tell you what I do need. Well, not what I need. What this bloke needs, he needs some legs. Let's give him a little shadow as well. There. Uh, tell you what. I'm going to. Gonna, I put a tiny bit more Payne's Grey in. I'm just going to give him a little dog. So that's his. That's his dog there. I think his tail's facing down. And then oh, I'll pull that shadow a bit further across for his dog as well. Yeah. Oh, might need an head. Pop him a bit of head on. Let's say he's, uh, he's got jet black here. Oh, I know what I'm going to do, won't I? I'm going to give him a red jumper. So let's get some nice bright red. And some brush. Let's make his jumper bright red. Then he'll stand right out. Right. I'm going to left a tiny little white highlight on that side where it sun's hitting him. There, I like that. Right, I'll give that a dry and then I'll pop some just little tiny jet black heads on my sheep. And then it's done, that's as simple as that. to me jet black I use I'll have my um, my paint just dry in my palette so I have to wet it because it just um, I put a lid on my palette so it stays as wet as I can get it to stay but um, in general I end up like I need to re-wet my colours but it, it saves squirting fresh out all the time right let's start here I think so his head's there, he's looking that way. I think he's the same, he's looking that way. And now he's looking this way. Ah, that one there, I'll have that one looking there, and that one there. So I like eating a bit of snap together. That one looks like he's looking that way. Uh, that's it. There. There you are. And that's just put a little bit of life into that picture. It brings it to life a bit. I have two birds. So even they add a little bit of life and a bit of movement into your picture. 
um, sometimes if you have like a tree if you are your leaves slightly slanting across it can look like there's a bit of wind for a bit of movement in there but putting them sheep in gives you a bit of life and a bit of movement and that just bring just makes it into a paint a proper painting I think that I needed a bit of summer so he's, he's my focal point there and if you notice quite cleverly that up to that to that to that to my focal point that spins around to my focal point these edges here point to my focal point everything was to my focal point in it right I'll let you get on with the rest of your day that's the on beach <laughs>